This is the first in a series of videos that I'm going to make for a new beginner to um, learn how to use a floor loom, how to create a scarf, how to calculate how much yarn is needed, what type of yarn is needed. Uh, we're going to do everything from start to finish. I'll explain all the parts of the loom, how they work, and uh, how to troubleshoot or fix errors that you may have when you begin to thread the loom and uh, start to weave. So I hope you'll join me. If you subscribe to my channel, you'll find a watch list where I've taken all the videos and compiled them in uh, start to finish fashion. So you can begin with video one and watch them straight through or I've separated them into smaller sections. So if you watch them all and find that you need to reference something, you can always go back and see how to calculate a warp or how to read a draft or how to beam the loom. So each of those components will be available to you uh, very easily. Today I'd like to discuss with you hand weaving on a floor loom. I've been a hand weaver for the past five years and I thoroughly enjoy it. It's very meditative to me. When you get into a rhythm of weaving by throwing the shuttle, beating the cloth, switching the treadle, throwing the shuttle, it is just a relaxing way to spend some time and create a beautiful project at the end. I never knew much about weaving on a loom. Um, as a child, I did the pot holder looms, but I never did anything with a floor loom or a tapestry loom or anything like that. What got me interested in weaving was watching a show of the Harrisburg Farm Show. In that show, they have a contest called Sheep to Shawl, where a team of about five people take and shear the sheep, card and flick the wool to prepare it for spinning. You have a couple spinners who spin the wool into yarn and then they hand that yarn off to a weaver who creates a shawl and this is all done within a three hour period. At the end, all the shawls are judged um, and that it just intrigued me. I was mesmerized by it. I watched it for a few years and always felt that the loom looked to be so expensive that I would never be able to afford to have my own loom. So for many years I just thought about it and put it out in my mind. Well one year I decided why not see, maybe the a used loom was within my reach. So I looked on Craigslist and eBay and I happened to find a loom within 20 minutes of my home. It was the weekend. So I decided to watch some YouTube videos and see what I might be getting myself into. I found some excellent videos on how to weave and I watched them for hours over the weekend. By the end of Sunday, I decided that it was definitely something I wanted to do. So I called and by the next afternoon, I had a loom and practically all the supplies I needed to start weaving. Uh, what I first got was a four-shaft Harrisville design loom. And um, I'll get more into the loom itself, but the shafts are these pieces right here that are raised and lowered. They hold the threads and create the pattern as you weave. In a four-shaft loom, uh, it limits how many patterns you can do. And I'm not saying four shafts are limiting because there's so many drafts or patterns that you can use on a four shaft loom that many people never even go beyond four shafts. After weaving for about six months, I decided I really did want an eight shaft loom and I knew by then it was something that I wanted to stick to and really wanted to learn. So I eventually got another Harrisville design loom and in an eight shaft loom. My suggestion to anyone who is thinking about weaving would be to get a used loom. Um, there are many looms available. Uh, like me, many people find they want to move from a four shaft up to an eight shaft loom, so those looms are available. If you look on Craigslist, you're liable to find one in your area. 
if you do go to look at a used loom, I suggest you take someone with you who's knowledgeable about looms and can make sure that all the parts you need are there. Um, if the loom is not assembled, it's in pieces, I would be very hesitant as a new beginner to take a loom like that. You may find that there are parts missing from the loom. So you want to make sure that the loom is in operating um, condition when you see it and hopefully that the person who's selling the loom can actually show you how it works. My loom came with pretty much all the tools that I needed to start with. The loom itself, a shuttle, uh, a bobbin winder, some leaf sticks, um, just about everything except for yarn that I needed to begin my project. As a beginner, I knew nothing about the tools required for weaving, so I took my time and only got the tools that I knew I would need. After a lot of research and using them, I'm really happy with what I did get. There isn't anything that I would have not purchased. There maybe are some things that I would have purchased sooner that would make my weaving a little bit easier. And I'll get into those tools as we discuss the loom and what's the various tools that we need. So I hope you stick around and watch the next video. I'll be discussing my loom and the parts of the loom and how the warp flows through the loom and some of the terms that uh, are used in weaving. It's almost like a whole new uh, language when you get into it. So I hope you see me in my next video. I'll look forward to that. Thanks.